Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for stopping by. We have a package, another one. This is from Beatles. We are going to pull out a couple of items and I'm going to review them for you. These kits here are brand new arrivals to Beatles. So I'm very, very thankful to have received them. So this is in collaboration with Beatles. Beatles kindly sent me over these kits. So we have two kits here and as I open them up, I will let you know exactly what they are called or what their names are. Here you can see what it says on this box here. I believe this one is called Flutter By. So I was able to pick out these kits myself. There were a select um, couple of kits that I was able to pick out from and so I picked these two kits out. I love the butterfly kit because I love butterflies and so of course I chose that one and then this small uh, six piece set I just wanted to pick a couple of colors that I needed and then also there were a couple of colors that I thought were pretty unique and perfect for spring and summer so there are a couple of things that come in this small little kit it's not just the six polish polishes this i believe is like a i don't know if it's a glitter or like a chrome powder yet so i have to try it out there's some swatches an application guide there is a very very tiny super cute a dotting tool which I thought was very very cute and then it just says Beatles printed on it and what we're gonna do is we're gonna just go through six of the polishes swatch them out so they can see what they look like if you did not know Beatles polish is nine toxin free it is environmentally friendly definitely safe for your skin it has a very low odor so that is good if you are sensitive to odors this polish is super super durable so you should be able to go a long time without it chipping or peeling as long as you i would probably top coat it just to make sure that you lock in that color and try to preserve it as long as possible so i'm reading that this gold powder does a couple of things so it does like a starry effect so you need to apply the powder on top of a color uh, a color gel layer and then before applying the top coat you are going to kind of use it and and burnish it into the nail or you can use it as a mirror effect and you can apply the powder on semi cured top coat or you can just use it in a sem like a simple design and only apply top gel on the design and then rub powder on the semi cured uh, top gel so there's a couple of options or ways that you can use the powder so i don't know if this kit brings these nail swatches just to have them just like that so you can swatch out the colors i have an idea for them and i don't know if they are intended for that purpose but i'm going to use them in a different way so i'm going to swatch out these colors and then i am going to use the double-sided sticky kind of tape that they brought or they gave us in the kit the little the little uh dots and i'm going to place those dots after we apply the polish uh on top we're going to apply the this is what we're going to do we're going to apply the polish on top of the nail swatch when we're done with the nail swatches we are going to take the double-sided sticky tape and place it on top of the nail swatches so that we can use the clear swatches that we are swatching onto now and place them onto the polishes so that we can have the the little swatches on the bottles and i'll show you what it looks like uh, in a second here, we're just going to swatch all the colors first. How beautiful are these cat eye polishes? I love them so much. They're so beautiful. Wait till you see all of them together. They are so stunning. I can't wait to use these in a butterfly set. I really, really want to do a butterfly set. Wow, look at that. Look how beautiful this polish is. It's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Wait till you see at the end where I show you 
them all together. They're so, 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 so pretty. So, so beautiful. I actually don't have many cat eye polishes, so I'm really happy to have these. I'm going to have to look and see if Beatles has more cat eye polishes. Um, I mean, I'm pretty sure that they do, but I want to have some more cat eye polishes from Beatles in my collection. So I am going to look and see if they have any more little collections or just single bottle it doesn't matter either way i want to see if there are more colors because these are gorgeous these are beautiful stunning i love them bam look how gorgeous beautiful so 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 beautiful oh i love these i love these cut eye polishes so so much I just want to take a moment and shout out Beatles for contacting me and wanting to collaborate with me. Thank you so much for thinking of me at this moment in time. I appreciate you so, so, so very much. These kits were beautiful. I love the child polishes so much. And I can't wait for you guys to try out these kits for yourself. If you'd like to find the link to where... You can get these kits yourself. I want you to go down in my description box below and I will uh, definitely leave the links down there. So all you would have to do is click on the links and it'll bring you directly to the website, you know, where you can get these kits. So check them out for yourself. Once again, thank you so much to Beatles for sending me these kits. I really do love the way that these tips fit on my nails. They are etched completely. I I thought that they were just etched underneath, but I believe the entire nail the entire nail was etched, so that really helped out in terms of not having to buff. Although I did buff slightly because I felt like when I ran my finger over the nail, they still felt kind of a little smooth and I needed them a little bit a little bit more you know roughed up so that the gel would stick so that's what I did I just did a very very quick light buff over the top of the nails and now I'm just gonna do a little bit of cuticle work I do love this mold and I love how thin these butterflies come out. They are truly so perfect for nail art. Really, really great mold. And don't get me wrong, when I want a chunky set, I love, love, love chunky nail art. I am obsessed with nail art in general. 
but I love a good chunky nail art set. So, um, but if you want to do something really kind of, um, what is the word that I'm looking for? Just more, um, on a simple, but still very beautiful and detailed, I would definitely go for embossing molds for sure. I am actually actively online looking for more embossing molds so hopefully i can find some i have already actually i already found a few but i do want to find a few more uh, because they're so so super helpful you don't have to use stickers or really um chunky nail art like i said if you just like a really thin uh, nail art that you can just throw a top coat over this is the mold for you so this kit is amazing again i think i've said it a couple times i will leave the link down in the description box below so be sure to check that out and honestly because these embossing pieces are going to be so thin you don't even have to throw a top coat over them if you don't want to that's how super thin they are but if you wanted to preserve the nail art so maybe it didn't come off or something like that i would definitely protect it with a top coat but i tried both ways i i um was kind of looking at it before i added a top coat and i was like wow it looks really beautiful and textured it doesn't even need a top coat but i was like you know what let me put a top coat over it just to see what it looks like and i still love the look of it you can still see that it's textured um but if i were to maybe pick whether i wanted a top coat or not a top coat i think i would definitely go for no top coat just because i love the way that the details look without the top coat because sometimes a top coat can kind of i kind of hide you know very very intricate detail so i would uh, just be careful when you are putting a top coat over these embossing uh these pieces because you really don't want to lose the detail of your little butterfly right you don't want to lose the detail we want to keep the detail but it's up to you it's up to you how you want to do it whether you want to see a lot of that detail or it doesn't you know you don't mind kind of losing a little bit of that detail it's really just up to you i'm really excited because of how detailed this mold is i really want to use some chrome powders and things i've got so many ideas for this specific mold so i can't wait to visit um back with this kit and do another set i'm really excited